I know. <laughs> Yes, I know, the Thomas the Tank Engine movie, the World War II movie, is not cancelled. I've gotten this news a while ago, and I probably should have made a video about it earlier. Anyway, thank you guys for telling me about that, I appreciate that. Really uh, helps me get up to speed with that sort of thing. Uh, from what I've heard, it's coming out in 2015, that's great. 2015 is actually a big year for movies, seriously, Avengers 2, Star Wars Episode 7... Those are the two biggest movies I can think of right now. I'm sure there's more that I missed. The Thomas the Tank Engine movie. When I went over my opinions there, I pretty much said that I didn't know if it would be good or not. It might be good, it might be bad, but even if it is bad, I can still enjoy it. Uh, you know, I still thought it would be really good, and I couldn't wait to see it. However, I actually seen what the director of the movie, Shane Acker, has actually done. Now, he's only done one theatrical film, at least in terms of directing, but it's actually a film that I quite like. Uh, pretty much, he is a director of short film, and one of those short films uh, actually got turned into a feature film. Now, I actually saw the trailer for it in theaters, and I was mildly interested in it, but I didn't go to see it in theaters. Uh, I went to see it later on, and I actually really liked it. Uh, Shane Acker did a short film known as Nine. Tim Burton came to him and asked if we, he could make a feature film of it because he was really impressed with Nine. So they made a film, feature film, just called Nine. It was actually pretty good. I really liked it. Not many people have heard of it. It didn't do so well at the box office. It only got like 48 million, I believe. But it, it's just so sad because that was a really good film. Now, I don't expect Thomas the Tank Engine to be that dark, because Nine is actually a much darker uh, animated film. It actually got a PG-13 rating. But still, I thought it was really, really good. The character development was good. I thought the story was really cool. The style and animation, the art style and the animation are, are the best part about that film, because it, re it looks great. The style is really, really weird and dark and eerie and cool. It, it kind of reminds me of what Tim Burton did with Batman uh, Returns. Uh, I really like that film and I definitely recommend you check it out. That's the only feature film he actually directed and I think Tim Burton had a lot of control on that as well. But still, see, seeing that, I'm actually interested in this film now. Like, I, I was already interested in it to begin with. You know, it's a Thomas the Tank Engine World War II movie, how could you not be interested in that? But I'm actually interested in seeing what he can do, because if it's good, you know, it, it might actually be good, because if, if Nine was good, that might be good. I don't know, it's just something to think about. I thought it, that's really, really cool. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I, uh, I'm actually pretty excited for the film. Uh, I'll put the trailer for Nine in the video, so you can actually see what it's like and see if you might want to see it or not, because I know you can't see it in theaters now, but you can probably find it on DVD. It's a pretty cool film, and I'd recommend you see it, because it actually is pretty good. I am the CMN 235, signing out. this. I found him in the emptiness. You lead the beast straight back to us. Where did it come from? Why is it hunting us? They've been lost in the past, looking for answers. Science has turned against us. 
Join me in repelling the iron fist of the machine. We awaken something. Something terrible. <laughs> Fear is the appropriate response.